whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I. No, never mind. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm surprised that of all the characters that I really dislike, it's the snarky, sarcastic fucking Archer. I usually love character types like that, but my god. Also, am I the only one who noticed the, um, <laughs> Cassandra's thigh gap? Man, I'm a fucking pervert, but god damn, that is rivaling fucking Arthur's thigh gap. Holy shit. With the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Thank you. No time for gameplay. Actually, no, never mind. Let me level up everyone first. Uh, I'm going to s put poison on things. That's the spec I'm going to go for. I'm going to poison shit. Uh, let's see, she has two points in that. There's, um, Warcry, and let's see, draw strength on Warcry, improving armor. Warcry echoes, okay, this. It's the amount of times she didn't draw aggro, like in the beginning of the game, fucking suck dick. Uh, we can defense. You have learned to cast barrier with a more stable magical pattern each time. Ah. Mm. Let's see, a stronger barrier or using it more often? Let's say more often. It's a better idea. Aura tranquility makes enemies less likely to attack you in battle, even when you. Okay. Uh, protective barrier springs in the place around you automatically when you're badly injured. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll have him more. Just, let's see, that's from above, that's blood. It's like. He, this spec is like really weird, because like this half of the thing is like, ooh, dude, poison. And this is like traps and shit. When really this is the only trap. And this is like throwing knives and shit. But I've never really, you know, done much with this. And also, this ability, like, completely fucks up uh, Barrack's playstyle, because, like, he's the sniper, he's supposed to be held back and shooting from afar. But, no, this one is like, yeah, hell a hook at someone, and just throw yourself at them. It's like, yeah, snipers, snipers don't do that. Why is that a thing? The, the, the annoying thing about, like, the two, like specialized specs for uh, rogues, the uh, subterfusion sabotage, is they could be used by either archers or the uh, tall-handed dagger fucking dudes. So they have a mix of all these things. But while, um... Uh, oh, fuck me. But while the warriors ones are, like, completely different, it's like, oh, do you want to wreck cunts or do you want to, like, be a tank? It's, like, easy as that. Mages are a bit different. It's like, uh, okay, you have your support, you have your electrical damage, fire damage, and ice damage. But yeah, rogues are way more complicated. Which is kind of annoying. Work for you. What is it? Yeah, just give me a quest, damn it. Talk to the horse master, got it. Master of Forces is pulling your reins. Oh, that's a terrible joke. That's a terrible joke, but I'm proud that I came up with it. That was, <laughs> that was one of those good terrible jokes. Do, do, do another quest in here. Give me that shit. That so, like, point. a majority of the side quests I'm going to do off camera. Why? Because fucking hell does this game like force you to grind side quests like not for any good reason just because 
Um, one extra point DPS. Fuck it. I wanna, I want a bow that actually looks, you know, like a bow. Did you seriously not equip it? Fucking piece of shit. Boy, I love it when my dogs fight. Mother my dogs, it's usually just one at this point. Oh, now, this annoys the crap out of me because, like, I, I mentioned it before when I was, like, bitching about, like, the uh, missions that you do at the table and all that, but, um, like, part of the game uh, is, Inquisition like, forces. item crafting and all that. But the unfortunate thing is, the majority of the shit that you get is completely fucking useless. Uh, the majority of the crafting items are really just fucking garbage. Like, it's only like end game items that you find, like dragon bones and like some fucking rare, like cloth from some country that isn't even in the fucking game or some shit. Like, only that shit is actually good. All the rest of it is fucking garbage. Oh, mage! Fun! Guys, help! I'm having way too much fun! Did that animation just fuck up? I think that animation just fucked up. Oh, Luke, give me that shit. A shield I'm never going to use. Thanks, game. There's another thing that I, I fucking hate about this game. It's like the majority of the items you find are pieces of shit that's like only meant to really be sold so you can get more money. And even then you'll barely use that money for anything. Unless you happen to find a shop that sells like really like good crafting items. Die. I'm the better archer. I'm better than you. Oh fuck, he has a shield. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I guess I could poison him. Fuck this. Should have done this before, but I was just too bored out of my mind to actually fit proper tactics. Yay, we did it. We are victorious once more. So now we have fought a whole bunch of demons, uh, rebel mages, archers, and like rogue templars and shit. Congratulations, we have seen 20% of the enemy variation in this game. That is another thing that pisses me off, is the lack of interesting enemies in this. There's demons, dudes, and animals. Like, the only fun thing to fight are dragons. And there's, I think there's like 10, maybe 12 in the entire game. Like, including all the DLC or some shit. But the only reason why they're fun to fight is because they're the only things that have, like, some kind of challenge to them. That being said, the first time I finished this game I was playing as a mage, and that made shit super easy to deal with. Oh, uh, dragon's about to fucking jump on people. Oh, impervious to damage barriers. Give it to the entire party. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, you asked for me, bitch. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. Uh, it's a tragedy. Oh, I'm so sad. Now, Mother Giselle, this character. Like, her character model annoys the crap out of me. 
like mainly because of the mouth. It looks like like what I was doing when I was uh, creating uh, what's her fucking name? I completely forgot what name we gave her. But um, yeah, it looks like what I was doing when I was fucking around, like making kissy noises, it's like just sticking out her fucking lips to like as far as they can go. But they accidentally accepted that change. Like, no one has lips like that. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive What is it with the fucking character modelers for uh, Dragon Age Inquisition and loving ugly characters? Like, so we'll be seeing that later on in the game. Like, we'll be, we'll be meeting up with one of the ugliest fucks in video game history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appeal to the religious, they'll be on our side. We get it. Destroy us. I will go to heaven and provide Sister Liliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to Agazori. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Thank you, character. I will speak to once more in the entire game and then never again. And now with that, the entire fucking world is open. So this seems to be like a good point for me to quit recording for today. I'm just looking at the time. I've been recording for an hour and a half and uh, I've said it before but I fucking hate this game but I can't stop playing it. I'll see you guys next time on fucking me suffering through the piece of shit. Oh, my.